What's up? Wonderful. I drinks. Good people of Earth. How you doing today, man? I hope you are well. You see, it's not a coincidence. You have clicked this video. Because just like you are a good vibes human, he is the good vibes place where we believe in spreading love. Making sure that all humans in all parts of the world are united. And above all, spreading honesty and forgiveness. Wonderful soul, you might ask yourself, we do this how? Well, it's by reacting together. Me and you, through different types of videos. Videos you never get to see anywhere else. All with the intentions of spreading love. Wonderful soul, if you feel like it's important to spread love to the whole world, why don't you watch till the end and hit the like button? Without forgetting to tell us where you're watching from, man. Eh? You see, I am Y311H. Right out of Africa with good vibe. Lots of good vibe. Let's dive in, man. This is the Shot River. I've never seen this before, ever, and I've been living here my whole life. This is usually underwater, a lot of water. We're basically standing in the mouth right now. Check this out. There's a sandbar. This is all underwater usually. Ha! Huh. New stuff, man. Good people of us that live near water. Do you know those stuff? What are those stuff in the this Islamic time, man? Connection. What the secret societies actually teach. Just like the Templars had two doctrines, one for the Goyim, the uninitiated, and one for the insiders, and the two diametrically opposed to each other, so the secret societies of Islam do exactly the same thing. But that's another lecture. Now the Templars, they had their secret inner information inculcated in the Rosicrucians and the Jesuits. The Jesuits again formed and created Freemasonry. And Freemasonry was created as the Protestant arm of the Roman Catholic Church. Unbeknown to them, beguiled, fooled, if you like, into doing the work that Rome wanted them to do, so that Rome could sit in the background while Freemasonry did it for them. And then it wasn't them, it was them. And it was mainly Protestants that were doing it, and not Rome. Very clever. Very, very clever indeed. So now let's have a look at these Knights Templars. Here are some of the presentations, representations. This is Demaloy, uh, the founder of the, or not the founder, but uh, the leader at the time of its uh, dissolution of the Knights Templars. This is what their dress looked like, if you like. And that is one of their symbols. It is a symbol that is used by many churches today. Did you know that? Many charismatic churches use that symbol. That's fascinating. And uh, Jehovah's Witnesses use that symbol as well. We'll come to that in another lecture. Now let's have a look at what Nesta Webster, Secret Societies and Subversive Movements, has to say about the Templars. We're not going to read it all, but uh, you can always, if you get the video, stop the quote. In the year 1118, 19 years after the First Crusade ended with the defeat of the Muslims, the capture of Antioch and Jerusalem, these groups were founded that were eventually established as the Templars and they presented them with a house near the site of the Temple of Solomon, hence their name, Knights Templars. And they became very famous and a very powerful order which controlled all the finances, the financial world. They were the banking elite of the world, if you like. And then in the, in the year 1128, the order was sanctioned by the Council of Troyes and by the Pope. It was a Roman Catholic order within the church. Now, some years later, October 13, 1307, this order 
was officially brought to an end by the King of France because it had come to light what they were doing, so it was said. The King of France, Philippe le Bel, had the Templars arrested and the date was Friday the 13th, October 1307, and since that day, Friday the 13th is a day of bad luck for the entire world. And the charges brought against them were the ceremony of initiation into the order was accomplished by insults to the cross and the denial of Christ and gross obscenities. Gross obscenities. There were all kinds of things reminiscent of Sodom that had to take place there. The adoration of an idol, which was said to be the image of the true God, and that was Baphomet, the symbol over here, of the androgenic male-female deity. The omission of the words of the consecration of the Mass, the right that to lay chiefs amongst themselves, giving absolution, and authorization of unnatural vice. So they had to, to curse the cross, trample upon Jesus, swear allegiance to Baphomet, and sanction this with unusual vice. It's a pretty serious crime in those days, so he was sentenced to death. But the order actually didn't disappear. The Pope was very reluctant to say that it was so. Masonic ritual includes references to the Knights Templars. For example here, Secret Societies and Subnervous Movements says, Several knights who had set forth the rescue of the holy places of Palestine from the Saracens formed an association under the name of Freemasons thus indicating that their principal desire was the re reconstruction of the Temple of Solomon. Hmm. Did you know that? New stuff, man. Good vibes out there, man. That's a shooting star. Wait, no, that's meteors. Yeah, that's a meteor. It's coming in the, ap the atmosphere. It's breaking up. Oh my god, yeah, it's breaking so up. This is the first AI. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What was that comment that was supposed to hit past my Earth? That was April 8th, though. No, this, it's, no, they were saying there was a meteor coming. We want to see it. I forgot. But, like, see, you see this. It looks, it looks. What is going on, good people? Eh? <clears throat> Time wraps of the clouds out the window of a plane. Looks like it's underwater or something like that. Look at this, man. Oh, apparently this is just some uh, distance above the clouds. And you can see how beautiful it looks like, man. Oh, it's great. Looks like someone can even ride there and uh, just feel nice. Only that now when you think of the distance between yourself and that. What is that? Bring it, Baba. Bring. Bring for Baba. Thank you. Thank you, where are you? Ik ben me laten jou gebrengen. Ik ben me laten jou gebrengen. Oscar! Hallo, Oscar, man! Wow! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! You're too close. My entire screen is full of whales. Wow, man! Can <laughs> I have a visitor? He's so cute. It's like lunch and a show. Oh. Look at him. Pineapple so yummy. That good wife said you decided to have lunch with that gold. human. That to me is gold. I'm driving through Rockdale, driving my Uber. Just finished praying just minutes ago. Asking the Lord to show me some direction to keep straight. Oh, that's crazy stuff, man. Uh, what about the cafeteria? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Apparently, there is some uh, panic down there in Mexico because of this office that uh, came to the beach here. Yo, and this is pretty abnormal, man. What could lead to such a, an event or an occurrence? 
You see, according to the people that know about fish, they say this is pretty abnormal. You see? Check this experiment out, guys. You're going to want to see this, all right? This is rainwater versus tap water under an electrolysis machine, okay? If you don't know what an electrolysis machine is, what it does is it separates water molecules, which is hydrogen and oxygen. It breaks it down to a single molecule. Now, this is rainwater, and do you see what the tap water looking like, y'all? Do you guys see that? let me ask you a question has your water been smelling funny lately like it doesn't smell like chlorine or so like rotten eggs it smells like sewage has your water it smells like this it literally smells like that y'all literally so i don't believe in coincidences would you think it's far-fetched if they made a movie and told us that there's something in the water this movie came out in 2019 not only that but there was a music festival called something in the water and do you see the year 2020 this is when everybody was drinking the corona the corona beers remember that y'all everybody was drinking corona around that time everybody was getting corona wasted but yeah something in the water in 2020 and it goes right back to this could this be the reason why in some states it's illegal to collect rainwater now i don't trust rainwater i'm still not going to collect rainwater because lord knows what's going on with those um with planes right now because planes are falling and all kinds of things are are falling out of the sky so yeah um but do you guys see that so i will say be careful because that's just just three minutes three minutes imagine that on our body y'all and our skin is the biggest organ so it absorbs everything we put on it this is what we put on our body i feel like everybody should be aware of this because it's our skin it's our body like we don't want that stuff on our body like why would you do that and TikTok, this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times because some of you people who work at TikTok are probably bathing and showering in this. So unless you guys have a really strong filter, but this is what's happening, y'all. Again, strictly for entertainment. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Please share this video. Like, comment, and follow for more, y'all. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace in. Yo, that's some insane stuff, man. What's up with our water? You see, you take water from the river, man. Oh, what the oh, heck? That's good. Cool. What? Oh, wow. That is awesome. I'm so confused. What are we looking at? <laughs> Looks Some... like a squid. Ah, at the bottom? Or is the whole thing a squid? I'm not sure what that top region is. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I was going to say it almost looks sea penish. Yeah. But. I can't tell if it's like. Oh, that looks like part oh, of its, it's body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, it just turned red. That's oh my gosh. crazy. It's like a unicorn. It's coming back. I'm yeah. gonna chase it with the zoom a little bit. Yeah. Now this one looks like it's trying to fight us. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Whoa. Oh. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. We got Whoa. inked. Yeah, it tried to intimidate us, and then when it didn't work, it squirted and ran. Yeah. I am in awe. That was cool. so That's a, cool. a big um, angler one that we've been seeing. Lar large one. Yeah. Uh, yep, there he is again. Back, down. back again. I really need to find out what that That's big so extension it's on so it is. Yeah. It's like almost twice the size of its main body. Yeah. Oh, and there's something running in front of your bubble. Trying to wiggle <laughs> <laughs> it out of the way. <laughs> zoom in a bit, or never mind. Well, that's a cool shot. It was a nice look at that. Wow. Yeah, when it, it was like... Oh, what would you name that, man? Some uh, anonymous squid or what? Mom's coming over here, Mom. Yeah, go.
Get up on top so they can see it. This is good vibes, man. These people returned this baby deer to the forest, but it came back to say thank you. You see, this is nice, man. Oh, this is incredible. Seems like also these animals understand gratitude and that. And that's just nice, man. Good vibes. And this is a good gesture. Oh, if these animals can say thanks, man, then this is just incredible. And it shows us, uh, and it, it chases us a lot, you see. And for that reason, I would also take this minute to thank you guys for watching up to this far and hitting the like button. You see, you're all wonderful and lovely souls. You see, kindly watch till the end because there's more interesting animal videos coming your way. You see, good vibes, man. Can you tell us where you're watching from? Do you have a pet or have you ever had an encounter with some animals that you really enjoyed? Leave some comments. As also, we try to understand uh, this guy here with this uh, magic tree. Because it looks like the tree is floating here. How is this good vibes guy doing this? Wait. Oh, good people of I. So what are you going to do when the truth comes out? Go back to your nine to five. Go back to your slavery job on the production line. As I said many, many times now, if you survived, you survived for a reason. And that reason is not to go back to your slave mentality. You need to start to feel a, a bit more deeper. Get reconnected to the true you. And rediscover why you survived. I said this many, many times now. I'm constantly trying to motivate people to remember who they are. And more particularly this time around, a survivor the new world. I think anybody who is truly awake knows that there is more to life and you can manipulate that to your advantage while most people are working or using it to their disadvantage. And I said this probably more times than I can ever imagine. Remember, life is just a mind game and it is. The only difference now is that, as I've said this many times before as well, the game of life has been hijacked and we are here to get it back on track. That's basically the bottom line in a nutshell. So when the new world re is reborn, you have a job to do. But I guarantee you, you will enjoy it because you chose it. It's the reason you were born this time around. You come somewhere like this, it'll take you closer to your connection. The truth of you. You know, years ago, I had no idea about lots of things, really. I, I was pretty much kept myself to myself, had my own thoughts, had my own interests. But I was born for a reason, like all of you. But somehow I managed to hold on to my intuition. And I was following that intuition, even though I wasn't aware of it. It took me from place to place, had adventures. I nearly died a number of times and I survived. I had a guardian angel. I didn't know that at the time. I didn't know what a guardian angel was. The things that I've learned from being a very scientific, logical person is mind boggling and I accept it because I've been shown proof. Proof for me, doesn't mean I can prove it to you. But as you walk your journey, you will see these things too. You will be shown proof. It doesn't mean you can prove it to other people. It's not about that. It's proof for you to walk your journey to your true destiny and dreams. And the more people that get connected to it, the more will be shown the proof of them so everybody will eventually know. It's not about proving it to other people. It never was. It's about you. It's your trip, your journey. But once everybody's connected, 
everybody knows. This is the problem. People have been so separated. And the one thing I will say, absolutely, again, it has nothing to do with the religion. Religion is man-made, it is mind control. And eventually that will be proven without question or doubt. Some people are in for a big shock. Because as much as the education system was corrupt, so were many other things. They made them so convincing that some people couldn't see it any other way. When I was a kid, my father used to say to me, when he was at school, the teachers would put the fear of God into you. They would say, if you do this or if you don't do that, you will go to hell in the fiery furnace for an eternity. He said, that was a pretty de good deterrent not to do it again. That's called mind control. Religion knew how to control people, put the fear of God into them, send them to the fiery furnace for eternity, burning in hell. My dad said sometimes all they did was something that was quite minor, but they get the same threat as anybody else. Kids were terrified that they might go to hell. Of course, some of them who were a bit more wise didn't really care. The good thing about getting older is you've seen quite a lot, you've experienced quite a lot, you've heard a lot of stories. It's been an interesting journey for me. It took me a long time to get to here. I was born for 2020. I was born to create something wonderful for the new humanity, new education, better minds. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with your new coming freedom? If you can't see that, you won't get it. This is the thing. This is why I talk about the awake, not awake, because they may not get what they're expecting. Or maybe I should rephrase that differently. <laughs> you know what I mean. Basically, you get what you think about. And regardless how wonderful the world is, they probably won't see it and they won't get it. If somebody even piled a load of cash into their lap, They'd, they'd spend it quickly before it suddenly disappears because they would be expecting a catch. Anyway, I've been over that ground before. The bottom line is this. Having created a, a mind education company, which I know is going to be very successful, I, I've no doubt, I've been told, I've been shown, I've seen it all. All I have to do is be patient and allow it to basically create itself really. I just follow my intuition and I do what I feel is the next step. And this is where we all are. We're at the end of the, the badness. We're getting closer to the beginning of the wonderful new world. But you have to do it yourself. They're not gonna do everything for you. The world may change on the surface, but your job is your work. You have to do it. You need to get connected and follow your intuition for that. Who knows where you will go? You may even get insight to where you're going. I did. My life has been so miraculous and interesting. This dyslexic ed educational failure wrote a book about it. A lot of these things that we have, they're not what they appear to be. All kinds of things are there to make you be lesser than who you really are. They don't want you to become a, they don't want you to have your genius potential that everybody's born with. Sorry, I'm not concentrating, I'm trying to maneuver a tree. I prefer making videos outdoors, you see. Trouble is it can be a little bit hazardous sometimes. You need to risk rediscover who you really are. You need time alone. 
go for a walk. Uh, I was thinking of walking across there, but on video, maybe not. Last time I did something reckless like that, I broke a shoulder, so maybe not. And I filled myself doing it. Don't do what I do. Do what I tell you. <laughs> I don't want anybody going for walks and having accidents because I, you know, be sensible. Take care of yourself. Get reconnected. And follow those destiny and dreams. Because now is, is the time for you to do that. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Oh, good people of earth. What that wonderful good vibe soul was telling us? Do you believe or do you agree, disagree? Or what, how did you find that information? I'd like you to leave your thoughts, man. You see, people have different beliefs across the whole world. But what really matters is our relationship. Ha! Oh my god, that is in Saudi Arabia. Much that is the this crazy man. Do you see the rings? I think there's this stuff here. Looks like some disc shaped so suffering stuff that is just stuck there on the rock. So what do you think uh, this uh, apprentice you were forced are doing? This one looks like it has been stuck there for quite some time. Or oh, those guys used to have some interaction with caveman. Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Um, back with another video. I'm going to explain a little bit more about the eclipse and what's going on. Now, all the state that this eclipse is going to pass over is under uh, under emergency. Um, so, it's a, there's a statewide emergency for Illinois, places like Illinois, New York, uh, I'm going to get Rhode Island, uh, Texas. I'm just going to list them off, man. And they're there. Um, New York, guys, this is no joke. The reason why the, and a lot of people are wondering, why is it that they're taking out the National Guard? Now, I'm going to jump right into it, guys. Now, the reason why the National Guard is coming out is because once this eclipse is over with, there's going to be quakes coming, folks. The New Madrid fault line is going to start activating things are going to start happening they don't want people to go crazy now first and foremost guys let me get it let me let, let me clarify this this is not about fear mongering at all it's about making you guys aware all right this happened before in america yes the last time they had an eclipse in 1806 and 1811 there was an eclipse that mimicked this one that's happening right now. It created an X over the United States. During that time, the highest seismic activity was recorded on the North American continent back in 1811 to 1812. All right? The same thing is coming. National Guards are all over the place. This is People are saying, oh, National Guards is because they're going to have tons of people. They want to make people... Be no. Crap. It's going to be crap. That's all crap. It's just a cover story, folks. Also, it's what's going to be in the sky. They are going, people are going to see things they have never seen before. Let's go back to the binary system that's coming. Folks, we live in a binary solar system. We have two suns. We don't have one. We have a yellow sun and a dark sun. Okay? It's not really yellow. It's actually white. But when we look at it, the sun we're used to seeing, it look yellow. That's 
that's a white sun. That's the sun we're used to seeing. So we're thinking, oh yeah, it's once. No, every couple thousands of years, anywhere between 3,600 years, our binary sun interact with our solar system and it's happening right now. You can't deny it. You've seen those videos that people have been posting about the two suns, right? That's what I'm talking about. A planet from that binary system will enter an, into our solar system and it's already in our solar system. So our planetary body in our solar system is behaving completely weird, folks. Earth is behaving in a way we have never seen before. Let me hit the nail on the head. Daddy's coming home. Daddy's pissed. Daddy's going to want his gold. And when I say daddy, I'm talking about the Anunnaki's. They're responsible for creating us. Now, that's not the reason why I started this video, but I just it off into it because of the stuff that's going to be happening on April 8th and what people are going to be seeing. They're going to be seeing planets in the sky that they have never seen before. That's part of the reason why they're going to shut down your cell phone. Yeah, they're talking about the solar, the eclipse is going to disturb uh, cell phone sort of crap. That have never happened before. NCC SOP 303 is a standard operation operating procedure with all the cell phone company have with the federal government, meaning that the federal government can tell them, shut it down, shut it down in that, that zone, that zone. That, tell them when to shut it down, where to shut it down. So it's not going to be eclipsed why you don't have any phone service. They don't want you guys to be sharing this information all over the place because they don't want to create mass hysteria. I just want you guys to be aware this is not about making you fearful. This is not about fear mongering. I get it all the time. I've been preaching this for years, telling people what's going on. And one of the main thing people always say to me, oh yeah, you fear mongering. I get it. It's called cognitive dissonance, guys. I've been through it. When someone present facts that go against your core belief, that's one of the first thing you will say to excuse the person because you don't want to deal with it. Because what the person is saying is affecting the stuff you believe in and the, the stuff you were raised on. Because what the person is saying basically is that everything you've been taught is a lie. It's true. Everything you've been taught, forget it. It's a lie. The illiterate of the 24, 21st century, folks, it's not the people who cannot read and write. Listen to me carefully. The illiterate of the 21st century is not the ones who cannot read and write. It's the people who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. You have to relearn everything. We have two suns in our solar system. And you probably think, oh, is that possible? And I've never been taught that because they don't want you to know. It's that simple, okay? We have a binary solar system. The next solar system with the dark sun have seven planets, four moons. One of that planet will enter our solar system and that's the end planet, Niburu, Planet X, what nemesis, whatever you want to call it. The same thing we're talking about here. That is the planet where the celestial beings, the Anunnaki, that's where they live. Chances are, when the eclipse is happening, you're going to see the planet. And the chances are, people might end up freaking out. That's why they have to have the National Guard. Also, the Devil's Comet. Is going through coming through our solar system folks soon as that devil's comet passes our solar system right after the eclipse weeks later listen to what I'm telling you weeks after weeks I would say try anywhere between six after the eclipse two to anywhere between a month and a half to two months we're gonna see earthquake to the likes the light we have never seen before to the likes we have never seen before the fault line is going to be activated folks it's going to get crazy as i said it before i'm not here to spread fear i'm just want you guys to be aware and a lot of people are wondering how do you know this i know this because i've been doing a lot of research it's something i enjoy doing and i just want you guys to to have this information why should i take this to my grave this doesn't serve me any purpose get ready folks you're going to see things you have never seen before. You're going to see behaviors you have never seen before from people. People are going to freak out. They're going to freak out because they're not aware. They're not knowledgeable. That's the reason why I'm giving you this information. So when it starts happening, you don't freak out. Because you already know this is what's coming. I have to get myself ready. Get yourself ready, folks. It's going to be an interesting ride. Listen to me carefully. Weeks, anywhere between a month and a half to two months after the eclipse, we're going to see quakes to the liking we have never seen before. 
here on the North American continent. It's going to get crazy. All right. So once again, I just want to share this video with you. That's also part of the reason why all this craziness is going on. They're preparing for what's coming, folks. That's why. So get yourself ready. And ciao. Yo, man. Good people of that. That incredible thing is full of good vibes. Sharing information he has out there with everybody honestly. You see, that's some good gesture. And it's what we are talking about here. Honesty with one another and good vibes. You see, like the information that good vibes guy was talking about earthquakes and such kind of stuff. You see, to me from this side of the world, I really find it uh, mind blowing. Because myself, since I was born, in the years I've lived on this earth, there are not many. But the funniest thing is I've never experienced an earthquake, you see? And when I hear stories about them from the older people in the previous generation, like my grandmother, you see when an earthquake happens from this side of the world, like now there is one that had happened around 10 years before I was born, and it was in our neighboring country, not neighboring, the neighbor of our neighboring country there. You see, and it was so crazy that uh, all the neighboring countries had to be informed so that you can remember those people in prayers. You see, people here have those superstitious beliefs that uh, such occurrences might be caused by maybe people not doing the right stuff or hurting the gods and their ancestors. And you know, it's very scary. You see, we have to pray for one another to understand this stuff, you see, so that we can all live in peace, unity, and good vibes like always. Wonderful soul. Hit the link button if you haven't. And if you haven't left your comment there. Now I'm wondering, wonderful soul, how can you even know where you're watching from, you see? Please do so, leave a comment there and tell us where you're watching from, you see? Good vibes to you, man. Good vibes to everybody. Big up to the guys in the comment section. Some people are like at uh, the only Jedi. Oh, how are you doing, uh, Mr. Jedi there? Everything is good? Ah, that's nice, man. How are you doing, Christy Hutchins? at Josie, at MJ Stinson, how are you man? You see you guys are very loved, all of you, everybody that leaves a comment and everybody that watches this video. Respect to you man. Till next time, bye bye, some fire episode will be coming soon. Good vibes. We are out.